Would you like to know a way to save time and money when installing your video surveillance systems? Keep watching to find out more. Hi, I'm Jorge Ramirez with Safe and Sound Security, the place where professionals turn for security system information and solutions. Today, we're going to talk about why you should be using PoE switches in your surveillance system. If you already have a video surveillance system or are looking at installing one, you will need to become familiar with the term PoE. In today's sophisticated surveillance camera systems, PoE switches are a mainstay. Maybe I'm getting ahead of myself. Let's stop right here and start at the beginning. What is a PoE? PoE stands for Power Over Ethernet. In its basic form, a PoE switch supplies power to devices on a network via the same Ethernet Cat5 cable that transmits data. This eliminates the need to change Cat5 cable network infrastructure to accommodate a new surveillance system. Any network device that requires minimal amounts of power to operate and communicate on a network can plug into a PoE switch. The technology is not new. PoE has been used in video surveillance systems for many years. It is a mature technology that works well in network surveillance systems that transmit tons of data and consume lots of power. But how does this work? How can one cable transmit both power and data? Let's take a look at how PoE switches work. A PoE switch draws its power from a three-prong jack that plugs into your standard wall outlet. The switch then converts this power into a lower voltage power source and sends it out over the Ethernet to devices on a network. How is this possible? Let's break it down. Ethernet cables have a total of eight cables inside and a PoE switch uses one of the four pairs to run positive and negative power to other devices, leaving the remaining cables to transmit data for other systems. A PoE allows engineers to locate IP cameras and wireless access points where they are needed the most and enables them to easily move these devices as necessary. And that's just one of the many benefits of using a PoE switch. If combining power and data makes engineers' jobs easier, Think of the other benefits a PoE switch could have for your business. One of the reasons businesses use a PoE switch is that it saves you time and money. Because an electrician is not required to install Ethernet cables, you save time and money. Time it would have taken for an electrician to come and install power required, and the money you did not have to spend on hiring an electrician. And in many cases, these cables are already in place. These little cables can do a lot. And because they manage both power and data, they can also help protect a video surveillance system from receiving too little or too much power. These devices are both reliable and scalable. There are 4, 8, 16, 24, and 48 port PoE switches available. Engineers can stack them in a system and build a trunk between them so they operate as one device. No matter what type of PoE is used, these benefits are the same. What is new is the fact that these devices have gotten smarter. There are two different types of switches available today, and it's important to know them both, so you know which one is the best for your business. The two main PoE switch types are unmanaged switches and managed switches, and there's a big difference between the two. Let's start with unmanaged switches. Unmanaged switches are aptly called dumb switches. Manufacturers pre-program these devices to function in specific ways, and do not allow for customization. Unmanaged switches offer plug and play connectivity and are very cost effective when price is a concern. These switches do not care what devices attach to them, they simply plug in and send out PoE. When you are just getting set up and on a limited budget, unmanaged switches may be a good option, but keep watching to hear more about managed switches. Unlike their counterpart, managed switches are smart. Authorized users can program them to function in definitive ways to optimize a video surveillance network's performance. The surveillance system can also be remotely accessed by authorized users and run performance checks via these switches. This is a huge advantage over their less smart unmanaged counterparts. In addition, managed PoE switches are highly secure and scalable. So what do you do if you need more power than your PoE is capable of handling? You can add more power output with a PoE Plus. The PoE Plus delivers more power than a standard managed PoE switch. They can transmit up to 30 watts over Cat5 cables versus the average 15.4 watts offered by standard managed PoE switches. The use of PoE Plus has increased in popularity as video surveillance systems move toward power-hungry, 
high definition analytic IP cameras. With the advances in technology plus increased popularity of the PoE switch, being able to control power remotely has come up as a major advantage of the managed PoE switch. Managed PoE switches have an IP address. This lets authorized users log into that managed PoE switch via a graphical user interface GUI, on a standard web browser, allowing users to adjust bandwidth and perform traffic shaping from their desktop PC, tablet, computer, or smartphone. In traffic shaping, an authorized user tells a PoE switch how much power to send to specific IP cameras on a network. For instance, one camera might only receive 5 megabits per second while another camera may receive 50 megabits per second. Users can regulate voltage coming out of each port on a managed PoE switch. If one camera only requires 7 watts of power, but another requires 15 watts, the switch can send 7 watts to one and 15 watts to the other. Why is this important? Because a managed PoE switch has a total power rating, and if the total power output of the ports does not exceed that power rating, it's possible to shape each port on the switch individually. This becomes useful in situations where there is a 24 port PoE switch, for example, connected to 23 cameras and a speaker. To operate properly, the speaker needs more power. The user can program the cameras in this system to draw less power, so enough power remains available to operate the speaker and have the sound it emits be loud enough for people to hear. Or, say the system is connected to 23 cameras and lighting. Here, users can set up a PoE switch's power distribution so that when an analytics event is triggered, enough power is available to turn the lights on. So with remote access plus the GUI interface, PoE switches are much easier for troubleshooting. Finally, a sophisticated managed PoE switch can use a GUI interface to provide a topology view of the network and everything connected to it. This aids in troubleshooting when a system goes down. Each port on the PoE switch can be programmed to send an automatic alert to authorized users when a camera goes down. Then authorized users can log in, use Topology View to see which camera is down, and reboot it. If a reboot doesn't work, users know exactly where to send a technician for the repair, speeding up the troubleshooting and repair process, and minimizing downtime. With all that a PoE switch is capable of, and the potential long-term savings, you may be wondering, how much is all of this going to cost? As with anything, you get what you pay for, but especially with PoE switches. Manufacturers offer this technology in a variety of types and a host of price points. But as you can tell from all that we've talked about today, not all PoE switches are created equal. While surveillance system engineers and integrators prefer to specify managed PoE switches over their less intelligent unmanaged counterparts, Deciding between the two typically comes down to what customers want to pay. The smarter managed devices can cost up to twice that of a managed PoE switch. But going with the cheaper option may be a short-sighted approach. The truth is that the biggest bang for a company's video surveillance system buck often comes from investing in a more expensive PoE product up front, which offers a list of benefits others do not. So if you're asking yourself, should I be using PoE switches in my surveillance system? The answer is yes, no question about it. You should be using PoE. And when you look at all of the benefits of a PoE, as well as the impact managed switches have on a system's capability, the choice to spend this money upfront on these two more expensive devices becomes easy. If you like this video and it helped you learn more about PoE switches, make sure to like the video and click the subscribe button below. Also, if you'd like to browse some of our written content or have a security project you'd like to talk to us about, head over to GetSafeAndSound.com. And now, I'd like to turn it over to you. Do you have any comments or questions about PoE switches or why you need them? Let me know by leaving a comment below right now.